so guys welcome to the second video of exploratory data analysis series so in the previous videos we discussed on the objectives the pdf plots okay and the high level statistics now here we will uh, move uh, ahead in our univariate analysis and we will go through cda which is cumulative distribution function okay so first of all what we are doing here is that uh, we are making the two variables class 1 and class 2 where class 1 is basically storing the survival status is equals to 1 from the Haberman PDF from Haberman data frame okay so class 1 represents uh, status is equals to 1 which is he will survive class 2 represents status is equals to 2 it which means the patient will die okay so that's what we have stored in this two particular variable now let's see each feature corresponding to class 1 now here what we will do is that uh, in the PDF we just see like PDF according to the different features now here what we will do is that while plotting CDA uh, we will see the different features according to the different classes okay so let's see now here first see age feature corresponding to class 1 and uh, then we will see age feature corresponding to class 2 okay now how to plot a CDA basically we are gonna make the two variable known as counts and bean ages okay and uh, here definitely we look cdf is basically the cumulative sum of pdfs so what pdf is equals to counts upon sum of counts okay now print pdf print bin ages. now cdf what cdf is cumulative sum of pdf this is the main part okay this is the main part now after uh, using this function uh, we are eventually plotting our uh, bean ages and cdf with the label is equals to cdf now our x label is age as you can see here our x level is age and our title is cda plot 1.1 age feature corresponding to class 1 this is what is our title here we are adding the legend here this is the legend and this is this uh, finally we are showing our plot now as we see the plot what are the conclusions we are getting here it's clear that the patient having the age of 50 to 60 okay they have the higher rate of survival as you can see here as uh, at this very time what is the diff corresponding value here the corresponding value here is 0 0.6 okay and as you can see here is that the patient having is between 50 to 60 year they are more likely to survive okay and meanwhile almost 90 percent as you can see almost 90 percent of the patient we can see over 90 percent of the patient having the age less than 70 okay as you can see here this is 70 okay how to see let's let's analyze how to see the cd plot now okay okay this is 70 years okay and you can see as you as we go up corresponding to 70 point here we can see around what is the corresponding y value here it's something around 0 0.9 okay it's so that around 90 percent of the patient who survived this blue line represents what survival okay since it is class one it's so that 90% of the patient, 90% of the patient survive below the age of 70. This is what CDF is showing. Okay. Now, in the same way, let's plot age of feature according to class 2. It's the same range of code. Simply, we are changing class 1 to from class 1 to class 2. Now, this is the CDF plot here. Now, as we can see here, it is uh, showing us that around 74% of the patient who died within 5 years having an age less than or equals to 60 years so what it is showing is that as you can see here this is 60 years of age okay now let's uh, look at the corresponding value here the corresponding value here is something around 74 percent okay so what it is showing is that it's uh, clearly that uh, you know it is much more clear that the patient having around 70 percent of the patient having age less than or equals to 60 survived okay that's what it is sorry. now oh sorry sorry it is a class 2 class 2 means who died okay who died i'm really sorry i'm really sorry what it is showing is that the patient having age less than or equals to 60 having less less than or equals to 60 died and the number of patient who died within this particular range is nearly close to like around 75 or uh, you can say 74 percent that's what it is showing okay i'm really sorry for the misinterpretation for a while now let's look at the same thing operation year corresponding to class one now if you look at this particular cdf okay 
it is linear. What it is showing is that around 60% of the patient are undergoing surgery before the year 1964. Okay, let's see. This is 0.6. Okay, now let's look at the particular point here. It is what? Around 1964. So what it is showing, it's clearly showing is that 60% of patients are undergoing who survive. Okay. It is class 1, so survival, okay. It's showing that 60% of patients who survived have done operation before 1964. Far more than clear. Now, let's look at the axial nodes corresponding to class 1. Okay, what it is showing? Look, this is axial node, okay. Now it's clear that uh, let's see this is 0 0.850 okay let's see it is showing that 85 percent of the people it is class one so it is survival okay it is showing that over 85 percent of patient who survived have axial node less than or equal to 10 hence lower the axial node greater the chance of survival as you can see as the we can see as the axial nodes are increasing the probability of survival is decreasing okay it is more clear so here we can see that the patient having axial node less than 10 okay have more rate of survival around 85 percent of patients survive having axial node less than 10 so that is a plot we are getting here now in the same way if you look at axial node corresponding to class 2 which is uh, like uh, the patient who died okay now it is again showing us that the patient having uh, around 96 percent of the patient here as we can see here this part died within the five years of surgery having axial node less than or equal to 28 this let's look at this particular value okay the patient having axial node less than or equal to 28 okay died okay and the range of patient who died is around 96 percent this is, this is uh, showing us the approximation percentage of the passing okay that what the cd plot is showing us now uh, well and good now guys uh, we will look at the box plot and the violin plot of univariate analysis in our next video and we will cover this univariate analysis part in the next video okay so if you have any doubt uh, in the cdf plot of this ada part uh, leave your doubt in the comment section below i will be more than happy to help you so, love you guys. See you in the next video.